program okay so sample application okay and uh, see, I am just clicking on this and I'm performing some uh, test cases and all okay so for that I need to inspect this particular uh, like uh, objects located on this right so in web driver you might have used uh, the xpath id name and all okay so <coughs> and you in, uh, by inspecting the elements okay so you have used to identify the id name and all but in mobile app so to identify the elements in the mobile app so we have two different methods here okay so i'm just going to show you but then details uh, i explained in some other video so one is like uh, as i told you we have used this particular folder right so here we have installed the android sdk manager at this particular location okay so if i'll go to this particular location so you can uh, able to see this sdk manager and the, as i told you there is a tool so okay, which we are going to use it later right so inside this we have ui automator viewer okay so i have shown you how to launch it from the uh, like command prompt as well in beginning okay so here like uh, in emulator or in TL device whatever is connected to your machine so and which are op uh, like app is opened okay so and if suppose I want to inspect what is the sign in okay so the locator and uh, whatever so I need to just click on this okay so here I need to take, take a screenshot of that particular page and using this UI automator viewer suppose I'm, I want to click on sign in right so I will select a sign in and I will able to find out the name of the locator okay see so, yeah, like for suppose i want to click on this particular thing see okay i can inspect this okay so <laughs> and there are different types of locators you can use it which i explained in another video this is one of the way okay so you can uh, inspect the element okay so using ui automator viewer another method is like you can use a apm okay so inspector okay so this is the apm inspector okay so this is a uh, very uh, like useful tool okay so you can for inspecting elements okay so suppose i have created here i am like uh, i want to inspect okay this uh, element okay so for this particular app okay so for that like i need to add certain details okay of this app like if you look into here i have added here the platform name okay so android the android so the version okay of this particular android okay so which is using which is currently installed in this particular emulator okay then the device name okay and then the package name okay so package name of that particular app so how to identify the package name activity name and also i explain in other videos okay so this details basically you need to add it okay so once you add this all details okay you can start a session okay and <coughs> excuse me so here it is going to okay so launch that particular app okay see here it is launched okay and <coughs> suppose i want to inspect this okay so what i'll do whatever uh, screen is opened okay on that emulator or in real device you can okay so use it see suppose i want to use this get started see i'm getting here the x path of this particular element okay i'm getting class name okay i'm getting a name okay so similarly based on the like uh, <coughs> element you selected you will be getting a on the element you selected you'll be able to see the id as well okay and uh, you can inspect the element okay so suppose i want to inspect some other element okay so what i'll do Okay, so it's loading. Okay, so now, see, suppose this page I want to inspect. Okay, so I want to find out the X part of this particular page. So I opened it. Okay, and now I will do a refresh here. Okay, so here, refresh. See? Here? Okay, so now I can easily identify the X part. So even you can. Uh, they do a recording okay here so which i explained in other videos and you can generate the steps here we have the recording okay start recording you can generate see here this is the x path okay and you can see the name okay we are getting class everything so like this we can inspect the element okay so using a apm so now